Well, hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another episode of Car Chronicles. Looking back in my 20s, I realized there are so many things I wish someone had told me. A roadmap for lessons, mistakes, and moments of self-discovery. If you're in your 20s and you're feeling lost or overwhelmed, stick around because these are the things I wish I knew back then that would have made all the difference today. I wish someone told me that I didn't have to have it all figured out. For some reason in my 20s, I felt like I was running out of time things are passing me by i'm not where i want to be like this constant stress and this constant desire to have it all together all the time in my 20s is absolute was was absolutely ridiculous because in hindsight i knew nothing in my 20s society often makes us feel like we need to have a clear plan for our career relationships life in general but the truth is life is a journey and it's okay to take your time figuring things out. Embrace the uncertainty. Allow yourself to explore different interests and career paths without feeling pressure to have all the answers. Set small, realistic goals and focus on progress rather than perfection. Life doesn't always follow a straight path and that's okay. Second thing, invest in yourself the most valuable investment you can make is in your personal growth health and education your 20s are a prime time to develop skills and habits that will serve you well into the future take time to learn new things whether it's through formal education online courses or reading books invest in your physical and mental well-being through exercise meditation and a self-care routine how many of you guys have a self-care routine make self-care a non-negotiable part of your routine prioritize activities that help you to grow personally and professionally treat yourself to the things you've dreamt about but responsibly my dream is to live a meaningful adventure filled soft life do not overlook or undermine the act of manifestation manifestation is real a year ago today i was begging my followers on tiktok and instagram to subscribe to my youtube channel hoping and praying that i can turn my passion into an income and with manifestation and a year I was able to get this channel monetized and now my subscribers are not only shopping the links in my bio but also signing up for the other services that I provide. Another thing that I wish someone told me is that my relationships will evolve. Friendships and romantic relationships will change as you and the people around you grow. Not all relationships are meant to last forever and that is a natural part of life. Focus on building healthy supportive relationships with people who uplift and inspire you. It is okay to let go of those who no longer align with your values or bring positivity into your life. Communicate openly and honestly in your relationships. Set strict boundaries where necessary and don't be afraid to prioritize your own well-being. Interestingly enough, growing up, I always wanted to be a part of a large girl group and I think it's just based off the movies and TV shows I used to watch on Disney. But for some reason, I used to romanticize having a large group of friends. Over the years, I learned to place value in the quality of a person versus the quantity of people that I had around me. If you're struggling to find friends or you've been hurt by friends or people in your past, I just want to remind you that your relationships will evolve. Don't allow friends or partners to guilt you into remaining stagnant. Change and growth is the point. Be more selective in the people that listen to you and also the people that give you advice. Work on your discernment and that's something that I had to learn how to do over the years. Work on your discernment. If you can't find one reason to look up to, admire something about them that you have or hold to a high esteem, do not take advice from them and you should most definitely not tell them your business. I always tell the people in my life to celebrate the little wins but what about 
the failures. Failure is a part of the process. The fear of failure often holds us back from taking risks and pursuing our dreams. In reality, failure is a natural part of growth and is often where the most valuable lessons are learned. Embrace failure as opportunities to learn and grow. See them as a stepping stone rather than a roadblock. Reframe setbacks as temporary challenges and not permanent conditions. Focus on what you can learn from each experience and how you can do better next time. I'll give you a little story. I'll give you a personal take on something that I would classify as one of my biggest failures or L's if you wish. In 2022, I started a TikTok account that I grew to almost 25,000 followers. Honestly, I was very proud of that page. I had content that I really valued, I had content that I was so proud of on that page. But at the same time, I really wasn't treating that page as a business. I wasn't treating it as something that I could use to move me to the next level in my content creation. For the most part, it was mainly about fun and my experiences in life. Along the way, I got distracted and consumed in the fact that I wasn't getting the engagement or the feedback from brands that I was looking for. And I remember going to Jamaica. I had a friend, Keisha, that invited me and Melissa to come and spend some time with her. And one particular morning, I got up and I went on TikTok Live. I was by the pool in a bikini and cover up, doing what, honestly, so many other people have done within seconds the page was taken down what did i do i didn't do anything but honestly if i really thought about it that wasn't a good reflection of who i am as a person or the message that i wanted to give to my audience and today i look back at that tiktok page and i'm like i'm very happy it was taken down i'm very happy that that distraction of that page was taken away from me so i could focus on what truly mattered and the platform that i truly wanted to be on which is YouTube. And it's so funny that back then, in that moment, I thought I was such a failure. I thought I, I you know, I made such a big mistake and I basically ruined uh, a great possibility and opportunity to really take my content creation to the next level. But really and truly, when I think about it, that was just supposed to be a part of my journey, but it had nothing to do with where I was going. As your virtual sister, I want to also remind you that financial literacy is key and the antimote is not where it's at. Like you can't live your best life. You can't live your dream life. You can't manifest the things, the trips, the adventures that you want in your life if you don't have financial literacy. Financial stability isn't just about how much you earn. It's about how well you manage and invest your money. Learning how to handle your finances early can lead to greater security and freedom later on. Educate yourself on budgeting, saving, investing, and managing your debt. Building these habits early can make a huge difference in your financial future. Start a budget, track your spendings, and prioritize savings, even if it's a small amount. Consider long-term goals like retirement and building an emergency fund to prepare you for unexpected expenses. As someone that creates content on YouTube, content around shoppable items, no matter how I phrase it and no matter where it's coming from, this is me encouraging you to spend money. So what I'm also going to do is to give you some tools that you can use to help you to get more money so we can shop the way how we like to shop, right? There are a few books that I've read and books that I'm planning on reading that is going to help me to change my mindset on making money and also reaching financial freedom. I've already read Rich Dad Poor Dad, Who Stole My Cheese, and How to Win Friends and Influence People. Pretty affordable. You can get a copy on Amazon. I'll have some of them linked in the description below. A few other recommendations would be the Black Girl's Guide to Financial Freedom and The Power of Discipline by Danielle Waters. Anyways, you guys, this is where I leave you today, but I will be making a part two because these are just helpful tools that you can use to not only navigate your 20s, but definitely give you a head start in your 30s. So comment down below if this is something that you're interested in. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you do not miss whenever I post another video. And as always, until next time, love you, bye.